I created a entire X1 video archive for other one it so that if they want to go and like find X1 videos, it is easier for them to search those videos and find those videos. If I wasn't completely dedicated to X1, I wouldn't be sinking this much time into that where I'm working on this every single day. This is Ashley and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic and I'm here to tell you finally that I've decided to alt X1. Yes, X1 is my alt group and I have a number of reasons why I love them and why they mean so much to me and before I jump into any of that um, I recently made a video about k-pop and my depression and I cited that watching X1 and editing for X1 and doing things for other one it's is one of the things that's recently been helping me get through things so I just wanted to start out by saying that X1 in many ways is probably going to be deeply entrenched in my heart for a very long time because they've been able to help me get through hard times. But right now I wanted to go ahead and talk about the 11 reasons why I love X1 and there are so many more reasons than just that. But I wanted to start with 11, a number that represents each of the 11 members of X1 because no matter what, X1 is 11 members and that is how I came to love them and that is how I will think of X1 and yeah, let's just let's just go ahead and jump into my 11 reasons. Okay. Okay, so reason number 11, they are honest. They don't beat around the bush. They don't play with games. They don't disillusion fans. They're honest. They set their boundaries. They let one it's know that they love them, but they also don't try to disillusion and make one it's think that they are more in their lives than people that are fans that appreciate them and people that they love and that we have a bond. We do. But it is that of one of a fan and a singer. Number 10. Watching how they've grown over the past few months has been amazing. So usually when you start to see a group, um, you may get introduced pre-debut, you start to see their interactions and everything, but with these guys, you really start to see them interacting with each other before they were even a group. And that changes the way dynamics are because you really start to see all of these guys with their own separate personalities and you start to get to know them and then you start to learn how they are adapting to each other, which is really interesting to see. And it's really great to see how they've grown because very quickly their friendship and their bond was there and the way that they've grown and attached to one it's as well. It's just really interesting to watch and to see that progress because it's, it's, it's a really sweet friendship that they've established. Number nine, they try to connect with us. And I mean, I get it. Pretty much all idols are out there trying to connect with their fans, but it's just really great to see X1 still out there despite all of the terrible <laughs> controversies that are out of their control really. And anything that's being said, they are still out there trying to reassure if something happens, members go to the fan cafe and post. It's just, they're constantly out there looking out for one it's, but you can also tell that they're looking out for each other. And I'm really happy to see that they are engaging and not shying away. Number eight, X1 is a group with no holes. There are no vocal holes, there are no rap holes, there are no dance holes, and there sure as hell no visual holes. X1 is a stacked group. They just got it all. They've they all keep up, they all are able to maintain and do what they need to do, and they do it at a high level. They're super talented, and it's just, oh, it's a blessing to have them all. Number seven. This group has some amazing vocals, honey vocals in the case of Insung. Just in all of them, they have these all really unique vocal tones. Um, they, like Hongyul has that deep raspier voice, and then Minhee has just this deeper, like, 
I don't even know how to describe it. It's very unique. It's very, you can clearly tell when it's Minhee. Unseng, like I mentioned, has this really sweet, soft voice. Sing Yoon and Sing Woo both have these higher singing voices, which adds for a really great compliment when you have them paired with some of the deeper voices. Dong Pyo's voice is just purely this, one of the sweetest things. Jin Ho's voice is so clear and concise. It's just, we have a group of really amazing vocals and I'm really excited to see what they can do in the future. They've shown us on occasions what their vocals are like, what they can do, but I can't wait for true X1 songs to really be able to show off how amazing their vocals are. Number six, all arounders, like for real y'all. When I say that X1 has all arounders, they really have all arounders. Usually most groups, they have one or two all arounders, um, but most people are like mainly just good at just their one thing and they stick to that one thing and that's it. But with X1, we have a bunch of all arounders, all arounders that are really showing us and giving us a, their all and really just proving that they are just really talented. At least with X1, there are four main people that people are probably going to think about when it comes to all arounders, and that is Sing Yoon, Sing Woo, Yohan, and Unsung. All of them have all consistently both sung and rapped, and people just, it kind of just clicks that they are all arounders because um, they're also amazing dancers, obviously. Um, but sometimes I feel like people kind of forget that there's some other people in X1 that are also all-arounders that are good and don't really do some of the other things that frequently. Um, but Hong Hyo has been shown to rap too. Hyung Joon has both sung and rapped too, sung for Dong Pyo. And also Min Hee to a certain extent. Um, he pulled through and helped them out with the rap before. Um, but yeah, they, the guys really are multi-talented. It's, it's really amazing to see how they can do so many different things. And yes, they do specialize some of them in just one particular thing, but they're capable of doing others, which is really, really interesting and really great for the group. So number five is their weird age reversals. So when I say this, the thing with X1 is that they act and behave as though um, they are kind of all on a similar level. Yes, they do still all have respect, trust me, they do. But it's kind of funny to see them interact because you can see that sometimes the age dynamics are kind of flipped and swapped. And sometimes somebody that acts and behaves like an older member would is actually a younger member. And like younger members are taking care of older members, older members are acting really young, but also they're still maintaining their really, their normal age roles as well. So it's really interesting to just see their dynamics because they definitely don't follow the usual typical age dynamics they it's it's all over the place with them which is really interesting to see number four they are so stinking cute like for real like they definitely do have an anti agio squad but most of the members even the anti agio squad will still roll up and do their agio so it's really cute to see them like all of a sudden just turn on Aegyo. It's kind of funny um, when they don't want to, um, but they're also really cute because even when they're not even trying, they're just cute. It's kind of ridiculous. They're just ugh, precious. Number three, their chemistry. Like y'all, when I say that their chemistry is amazing, it really is. And yes, I get they're They're still getting used to each other, still getting that vibe, learning each other getting to know each other, but in general, they just have this really cohesive bond, at least that they're able to present on stage, which means that they likely have formed some sort of understanding off stage as well. So I'm really happy to see that. And I really hope that they're able to cement these friendships and everything is really great because honestly, watching them together is just so much fun the little moments between all the different members are fantastic. Number two, it leads me to their teamwork. Like, listen, their teamwork is really amazing for a group that is so new. They've really banded together and they understand their focus and their goal. And they are constantly working together 
to achieve those and you can see how they're really trying and making sure that their bond and that what they have to do is put first. They work together and they look out for each other and that sort of teamwork is really 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 great um, and it's just amazing to see that they've been able to do that this quickly. And number one, I fell for these guys because I freaking love them. Like I love each and every member. They mean so much to me. They're adorable. They're precious. They're talented. And that's the key thing. They're really, really talented. And I just want to see them thrive and flourish and be able to go to as many shows as I possibly can. Um, I can't wait until they're in America. But I just, I want to support them with everything I have because in this short amount of time, they've already given us so much. And I just look forward to everything that they have to offer in the future. <sighs> X1 has become my old group. They mean a lot to me. I, in case you did not know, I went ahead and um, I created a entire X1 video archive for other one it so that if they want to go and like find X1 videos, it is easier for them to search those videos and find those videos. If I wasn't completely dedicated to X1, I wouldn't be sinking this much time into that where I'm working on this every single day. They mean the world to me. And I'm just so happy that they are here. We're gonna end with one last bonus, a bonus one. Just to mention that the reason why I love and I alt X1 is because sometimes you just know like there's just this feeling that has bubbled up that's just inside that there's really no logical explanation and sure i was able to pinpoint some of the reasons why i love them but if you take that away i still think that i would still have that strong feeling of how much i love them because they just mean a lot to me like i mentioned before and i can't really pinpoint and explain it they get me through hard times they make me laugh they make me just so happy and i'm just so appreciative of them so i don't know what else i can say but i love x1 x1 is my old group i love all 11 members even if i am hangul and hyungjin biased but I love all 11 of them and they mean so much to me and I can't wait to see what they have in store for me in the future because I will be here wholeheartedly 100% but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and head out and I will see y'all next time bye